National income calculations involve three different methods. The first one is called the output method. When we talk about the calculation for national income, income is only possible if people are providing factor services or households are providing factor services and firms are manufacturing goods and services. Because of this, you have output. Now, in the output method, we first classify all units in an economy. under primary, secondary or tertiary sector. Once this classification is made, we record the output or the production in all of these units. So we calculate the total output of all units in each sector. That will give us the value of output. Or VO. The third step will be to calculate the gross value added of each sector and the formula for gross value added is your value of output. So let's write the full form value of output minus intermediate consumption. So value of output minus intermediate consumption will give you your gross value added. The next step can be calculation of NVA or net value added. Your net value added will equal your gross value added minus depreciation. The step after that would involve adding the NVA from all sectors and we get the summation of NVA which is in the P at M. Alternatively we can think about summation of GVA summation of gross value added as GDP at MP. Now, if we are starting from either GVA or NVA, we can move towards national income, which we know is net national product, net national product at factor cost. So let's say we begin from G, D, P at M, P. In order to move from gross to net, we need to subtract depreciation. So we can say that G, D, P, M, P minus depreciation gives us N D P at M P. Now we have N D P 
at MP, but we need to move from market price to factor cost. And we know we can do that by subtracting net indirect taxes. So NDP MP minus NIT gives us NDP at FC. Once we have NDP at FC or net domestic product at factor cost, we need to convert domestic into national and that can be done by adding net factor income from abroad. So NDP FC plus NFIA, NFIA gives you NNP at FC. So irrespective of the method being used, we will have to continue from either GDP MP or perhaps NDP at FC depending on whether we are following the output income or expenditure method in order to get ourselves national income which is your NNP at FC.